What's up guys, it's Lampini again, and today I have another BattleBot video for y'all. So, uh, thank you all to everyone who watched my test box video. It got significantly less views than the uh, uh, ant weight video, but uh, hopefully that'll get some traction. Maybe the algorithm will, will pick it up. Doesn't really matter. But anyway, I'm here again with another video. I think I remember saying how I was going to make this video uh, near the end of my test box um, video. But, um, as y'all know, I got all my robots back here. And um, one of them is a new beta weight that I just built. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I've updated one of my old robots, Velocity. Now, if you remember Velocity, um, a couple months ago, I made a showcase video about this forward hinge flipper named Velocity. Basically, it was a forward hinge flipper in the same vein as Vindicator, except in beta weight form. However, I wasn't really happy with its performance. Um, I got these little, what are they called? Pololu motors. And they're in nicotine lips and fatal deviation as well. And they get decent speed and torque and all that stuff. But for a forward hinge flipper that you know has like a wedge, you really need good speed for that. Like fatal deviation doesn't really drive all that fast, but it gets the job done for the kind of design that he is. So I needed to upgrade the motors so what I ended up doing was I upgraded them to these larger, more generic motors. They were a bit faster, but they didn't get the job done. And it did this weird thing where after like a couple seconds, the speed would decrease by like 50%. So that was another weird thing that it did. And I was like, it drives well, it just doesn't go fast enough. So I was not happy with that. So then what I did was I upgraded the voltage from 9 volts to 12 volts, hoping that would increase the speed. But it still wasn't where I wanted to be. And at that point, I was pushing... I, I was doing all these modifications in the same chassis, which was just making it difficult to make the 3-pound weight limit. I managed to do it with um, the 12-volt the battery pack that I got. Basically, it's just something that holds 8 AA batteries. I have not... I have not jumped into the world of, of LiPos yet. I will eventually. I'm just not at that point yet. I don't have the money. I don't have, you know, I've seen too many horror stories of LiPo batteries exploding, all that nonsense. Should I start using them soon? Probably. I'm just not inclined to at this point. But anyway, um, I did that and I upgraded it to 12 volts, like I said, and it still just wasn't enough. And I slimmed down the chassis. I made it as shallow as possible. But at that point, like, I couldn't get it to really work as a three-pound robot. It was really struggling to do that because the motors that I got were already so big. And, you know, it just was not working. So, basically, I decided to scrap the chassis, build a whole new robot, build one from the ground up. Um, I did keep some parts though. I kept the batteries and the wheels, but I replaced the speed controllers with... Um... So instead of these um, speed controllers that I used that are, what does this say, 1060 brushed? Instead of these, I got these custom customly uh, programmed brushless motors with just the middle one cut out. Um, they weigh less, they're 40 amps, and they got the job done a lot better than these because for some reason with these, like I said, after a couple seconds, they, like, the speed just decreases massively for some reason. But those ones don't do that. So um, for the chassis, I kept the same dimension except I made it shallower, 1.5 inches, and I tapered the front from 8 inches to 6 inches. Uh, similar to what Firestorm does, I'm pretty sure Firestorm has the exact same design, kind of plagiarizing a little bit, but, you know, I, lo I love their design, I think it looks great. Um, and I basically did this to trim some weight down, as well as make the front end more accurate when I'm attacking robots. Uh, for the drive motors, I used these 22 mm millimeter planetary gear motors from Bot Kits which is basically another combat robot store similar to Fingertech. It's a great place to get your start. It's very similar to Fingertech. They have these like four wheel beetle weight kits with four of these, the, those uh, planetary motors. Um, do they have a drum kit? There's another website that has like a, a, a three pound uh, like drum kit as well. I can't remember if that's 
if that's um, bot kits or not. What's up, y'all? Quick little editor's note here. Uh, it turns out that the website I was thinking of was called KitBots. Yes, there's a website called Bot Kits and a website called KitBots. But anyway, KitBots is the website that has the one pound drum kit I was talking about. It's not a complete kit. You do have to get some like parts after it. And it's not a three pound kit, it's a one pound kit. But yeah, basically that's what I was thinking about. You can probably imagine why I got them confused, right? Anyway, back to the video. But anyway, that's another great website to get your start. If you don't know where to start, FingerTech and, and Bot Kits, another uh, great place. Um, and it really worked well. They, I got up to much better speed um, and it didn't, like I said, the speed didn't dip at all. Um, and they were much lighter than the generic motors that I was using before. And combining that with tapering the chassis down, I was able to get it like way below the three pound weight limit. I'm pretty sure it weighs like three pounds, 12 ounces. So like I could add something to it and it would still, <clears throat> it would still make the limit. So that's really cool. Another modification I made was I changed the servo to a uh, 30 kilogram, 360 degree servo. It's similar to what Vindicator, um, my change with Vindicator, where um, instead of having a limited range of motion, it's on the left stick and it can basically just go 360 degrees. And it also went from a, one sec. This was the old servo that I used for velocity. It's a 25 kilogram. Uh, one and this one is 30 so it should have less difficulty lifting things but again the 360 degree nature of the servo just makes it a lot better the range of motion is better um, and like I said uh, like I said in my previous video it is going to be better actually in the heat of battle because instead of having one hand on a dial one hand on the stick and I have to twist like this I have both thumbs like that so um, those are pretty much all the adjustments that I've made so what we're gonna do is we are going to power him on and we're gonna give him a test drive and I'll show you what he's got. So let's go to the test box. All right, y'all, welcome to the test box. Now we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna turn on velocity real quick and I'm gonna show you a little bit of his moves. So as you can see, he is very responsive. I really like these planetary motors, I really do. And I think, oh, I think the, 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 the speed controllers that I'm using too are really good. Oh great, he's stuck. Come on now. Get out of there. As you can see by his little design, the little wed, the little white part there is designed to get in underneath. He spins real fast, as you can see there. But see, this is the kind of thing that I was looking for for a robot like Velocity. And there's his arm going. It, it works, it worked, mm, wow. It works at the, basically the same way as uh, Vindicator does. He even can self-write himself. Um, so it, it's very, very um, similar there. It, he works basically the exact same as Vindicator, except in beetle weight form. Um, here, let me give you a little rundown here. We're going to take nicotine lips here, and I'm going to show you lifting them over. So, okay, well, nicotine lips has these forks that are against that, but... And get in and underneath just like that and then ooh, lift them up over on his side and if i have more space actually here come on come on down nicotine lips small now if i can tip them over back to me if i can tip them over back to me i can uh come on fall over yeah. but yeah so basically you get caught like this and lift it up so the servo has little to no problem lifting up something three pounds. There you go. And that's exactly what it needs to do. So as you can see, he works, he works very well, very effective. Um, now we're actually gonna do something a little bit different here. I'm going to take him out onto the kitchen floor and then you're gonna get a bit of an idea of how fast he actually is in a larger area. So jump cut. All right, y'all, welcome to the kitchen floor. So we're gonna be driving velocity around a little bit. Again, so that's the arm. And again, as you can see, he is, he's pretty fast. You know, he gets the job done. In a larger arena, he'll cover the distance in maybe a second or two.
So that's basically what I'm going for. And it doesn't do that weird thing that um, Velocity or Nicotine Lips does where if I drive them around like that for too much, too long, they like stop. So honestly, I might need to upgrade the electronics for Nicotine Lips and, and, uh, and Fatal Deviation because the speed controller motor combination I put in Velocity here is so much better than the other ones that I have. So, um, the only thing now that I can think of that I really need to fix with, um, velocity here is I'm going to need to find some way to zip tie the battery pack here. I have zip ties. They should be long enough, but just, you know, to cut a hole in it and find a way to really like force them in and zip tie them together. You know what I mean? But other than that... That is my rebuild of Velocity. All right, guys. So that about wraps up my video on my rebuild of my Beetleweight robot, Velocity. So at this point, I'm pretty happy with the six robots that I have. The only thing that I can think of now is upgrading my Beetleweights to these new, these new electronics, but that being said, it, it, we're really in no hurry to do that because they all still work really well. So I think that I think what's left now is try and find competitions in my area to uh, enter any of them. So uh, we might finally be ready to um, enter a competition. So in the comments below, which robot do you want to see me enter? in competition. Would you like to see Vindicator, Deathstalker, Whirlwind, my new Velocity robot, Nicotine Lips, or Fatal Deviation in a robot competition? Out of these six, which one would y'all uh, like to see the most? Leave in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more videos, and I will see y'all next time.